you will enter a new year with new grace in the name of Jesus. You will enter the new year with new favor in the name of Jesus. You will enter the new year with a new bank account in the name of Jesus. of God. Amen. So today I thought about something and I thought we're all getting into the festive seasons. I think we can turn the music down. Um, and I thought about all of us or some people have the anxiety and fear that is towards the end of the year and are we going to make it to the new year? Are we going to make it to 2023? And so many things happen during this time. There's so many car accidents. There's so many people who don't make it to the new year. But I'm here to declare in the name of Jesus. We will see 2023 in the name of Jesus. We will make it out of this year in the name of Jesus. Our children will make it out of this year in the name of Jesus. For we are the children of God covered by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. And a scripture was laid in my heart, the book of Romans 8 verses 1, hallelujah. Romans 8 verses 1, if you have it, please go to it. I will read real quick, hallelujah. It says, therefore, there is now no more condemnation. Somebody says, therefore, there is no more condemnation. That means there's no more guilt, no verdict, no punishment because you are a child of God. Say there's no more condemnation. You will see 2023 because there's no more condemnation, no more guilt, no verdict, no punishment that is upon you because you are a child of God. It continues to read, it says, for those who are in Christ Jesus, that means those who believe in him and love him and take him as their personal Lord and Savior. This is why your life can't be the same when He is your personal Lord and Savior. This is why your family can never be the same if He's your personal Lord and Savior. This is why things that happen to you in your business, in your workplace, can't be the same because He's your personal Lord and Savior. Your marriage can't be the same. He's your personal Lord and Savior. Punishment must move must move punishment must move condemnation must move your life has to be transformed your mind has to be transformed for you are no longer under the chains of the enemy but you are now a child of God I remember yesterday we had something for a little baby of mine and the weather report had said it's a 20% of rain right and it never rained as we expected. It was very sunny. And I remember I walked around that venue and I began to thank God. And I was like, thank you, God, that as your children, you favor us. Things must change at your favor. Things must come at your favor. Because you are Monica, you are a child of God. Things must work to your favor. The weather must work to your favor. I don't care what the weather report says. I don't care what the doctor report says. I don't care what your work report but because you're a child of God things must work according to your come on children of God your marriage must work for your favor your school work must work to your favor your children must succeed because you're a child of God intelligent or not intelligent my kids will make it they will succeed because there's no more condemnation no vindication no punishment because I'm a child of God and therefore things must work out for your good. I'm here to just declare that 2023 things are going to change. 2023 things are going to work out for my good. 2023 doors that never opened in 2022. 2022, 2023 my doors will open in the name of Jesus. Job opportunities will arise in 2023 in the name of Jesus. The struggles that you faced in 2022 we pray in the name of Jesus that those doors 
of struggles and punishment will close in the name of Jesus. You will enter a new year with new grace in the name of Jesus. You will enter the new year with new favor in the name of Jesus. You will enter the new year with a new bank account in the name of Jesus. You will enter the new year with new health in the name of Jesus. You will enter the new year with new relationship productive, relationship monetized relationships in the name of Jesus. You will enter the new year with new business concepts, new business ideas that will come and be expected and be a global success in the name of Jesus. I don't care, but I'm going to be part of the people who will make a success of the new year in the name of Jesus. My name will be one of the names that will be recognized as people who have succeeded in the new year in the name of Jesus. Lord, I refuse to be a victim of anything that will not work out in 2023. I will not be a part of statistics of sick people in 2023 in the name of Jesus. We proclaim God and we pray this morning that we are going to be a part of a generation that will arise in the glory and the goodness of God shall be seen in our works in the name of Jesus. I speak a multiplication of everything that was good in your life in 2022 that in 2023 things will be better and greater in the name of Jesus. God will begin to multiply your cup, multiply each and everything that you felt that was good in your life and God every seed will multiply and will grow in the name of Jesus. Everything that didn't work out, we get into a new year we write, uh, what do they call them? Resolutions. Mm, in the name of Jesus. I see your resolutions. They will come to pass in the name of Jesus. Everything I write will come to pass in the name of Jesus. Nothing is impossible in the name of Jesus. All things will work out for you because you are a child of God. And Heavenly Father, I also pray for my family. I want us to just pray, guys. We are praying for 2023 in the name of Jesus. I don't know who's standing in the gap for their families. I don't know who's been through a tough time. I don't know who's been through a hospital and know that so many people are sick. So many people are dying. But I declare in the name of Jesus, our people will live in the name of Jesus. Sizopila in the name of Jesus. We will eat even when they say people are not eating. I say we will live even when they say people are not living. I say we will rise even when they say people are not rising. Even when they say there are no jobs. I say you will work in the name of Jesus. No, no anything, no disaster will come and strike in your family. Oh, come on, we are covering ourselves. With the blood of Jesus, I am Okoya Maha. Rebe bebe kisha dalabasi. Since those of us who are accidents, but it will never touch you. It will never get to you. Things will happen around you, but they will never happen to you. Things will happen in your surroundings, but it will never come in close proximity of you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I welcome success in the name of Jesus. I welcome prosperity in the name of Jesus. I welcome provision in the name of Jesus. I welcome favor in the name of Jesus. I welcome new life in the name of Jesus. I welcome new opportunities in the name of Jesus. I welcome new businesses in the name of Jesus. New love, new relationships in the name of Jesus. I welcome it, God. I welcome it, God. In the name of Jesus, every door, God, that has success written on it, God, I walk in those doors of prosperity and righteousness. In the name of Jesus, nothing that I touch will fail, God. In the name of Jesus, new life is arising in this season, in this time, in this sanctuary, in 2022. As you are getting prepared for a new year, God, we are giving birth to new ideas. My previous suffering will not define me. My previous losses will not define me. In the name of Jesus. New covenant. Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord just said to me, it's almost like we are getting into marriages 
it's almost like we are getting into covenant where we are marrying success where we are becoming one with things that are great it's like when two people are getting married they become one and the Lord just showed me it's like we are getting married to success therefore if the two if you and success are the same thing that means that you speak success you proclaim success you produce success you are success everything around you speaks what you say you are therefore God I'm getting into a covenant of being great I'm getting into a covenant of being successful I'm getting into a covenant of being an overcomer of being an achiever I'm becoming one with greatness I'm becoming one if anyone be in Christ he's a new creature therefore there will be no more condemnation for those who love the Lord 2023 my name is on it 2023 my business is on it 2023 my children are on it 2023 my marriage is on it 2023 my life is on it my health is on it my family is on it there'll be a turnaround there'll be a change there'll be a shift there'll be a move there will be something different about 2023 haya makashi tanabakasaya don't be a hearer of what people have experienced. Don't be the person that hears people's testimonies. Be the one that shares the testimony. I refuse to hear about other people's success. I want to be the successor. I want to be the one that stands and proclaims the goodness of God. I don't want to be a spectator to people's successes. You will be the one who has succeeded. You will be the one who has a good story. You will be the one who will be sharing a testimony in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As Pastor Peace coming, I just want us to say in the name of Jesus. 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 You will celebrate more than you will cry. Hey, Abaha.